Oh, hello there, everybody. Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Tuesday, April the 19th. And this is the Pottinger Aerosim 3002 slash line 303 by Giant Software 13.07 megabytes and a whopping 19 slots. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's a cedar. Um, and we will find it. Um, ironically, it'll be under cedars and kind of hidden in between all my stuff here. There it is, the Pottinger. Uh, this is in here. It's the Line 303 plus Aerosteam 3002 because it has a um, power harrow on it. Um, so, 165 horsepower. It's only a three. It's a yes, it's a three meter cedar with 165 horsepower requirement because of the uh, a power harrow, seven miles per hour only. Uh, and as I said, 19 slots. Oh my goodness. Um, 1,250 uh, liters of seed though. It'll go a long way. $41,000. No customization options, not even a license plate. Now, you would think having a power harrow on there would mean this would be a direct drill, but alas, it is not. Um, which is a bit of a pet peeve of mine, because uh, why would you have a power harrow on there to dig up the soil if it doesn't dig up the soil? That's something I thought perhaps they would have fixed in the update. No, they did not. So, options. Uh, L1, lower power harrow, <laughs> which is actually the cedar. Uh, although you can turn, you can, uh, it, you can't lower or raise or lower the cedar. You have to raise or lower the power harrow because it's two pieces. And you can actually detach. Uh, uh, you can actually detach the cedar. Can you? No, you can't, I guess. Even though they're connected, you can't. Uh, so it makes it very confusing for a setup like this. It, it doesn't make sense to me, but anyways, you can turn it on. It turns everything on. Uh, ridge markers are uh, L1 and the right D-pad, or left, the D-pad up. Um, you can select your uh, seed options by triangle, of course. We'll just do the regular seed options. Uh, open cover is L1 and left on the D-pad. There it is, just like that. No fertilization option. <clears throat> um, I believe it doesn't change if you choose, doesn't matter which one you choose. Are um, you can uh, the deactivate seed rate is part of the um, precision farming. Uh, I would leave it on if I were you. L1 and R1 uh, does not do anything. So, whoops. Uh, so here it is in the field. If you set the worker off with it, he will go off and do his thing. I would recommend a fairly hefty um, uh, weight on the front, and I would recommend something in the range of 200 horsepower-ish, or something big enough to handle uh, the heftiness that this is. Uh, it is quite slow, and as I said, if we uh, stop it here and go over to this um, field, Turn it on. Um, as you can see, it's not doing anything. So, I just don't see the point of having a power harrow attached to a cedar if it's not going to do anything. That's just my opinion. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. 
Uh, I mean, it works, and it works fine. It was it was working fine there, so there's nothing wrong with it. It's just kind of a really heavy, small little three meter seater that takes a lot of horsepower. There's a lot better options out there. But if you like the Pottinger and you like just how it looks, or you have one and you want to play with it in the game, this is the Pottinger Aero Stamp Aero Sim. 3002 slash lion 303 by giant software 13.07 megabytes download and a 19 slots on console i'm looney farm guy and remember it's just a game so till next time